Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today what I am going to do is I am going to add a red weapon trail for unblockable attacks. We already have a white weapon trail for normal attacks. So red trail is the new thing that I am going to add today. So here is the demonstration. This is the normal attack and normal white sword trail and this is the charged attack and here we have this red weapon trail. So red is to demonstrate that this is an unblockable attack. Alright. Okay, so let's get started. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. That means a lot to me. Alright, so I already have shown you how did I implement this uh, white weapon trail. That uh, the one we already have. So... Nevertheless, I'll briefly go through how did I create it. So in my melee weapon, I have this trail. I have make it invisible. So I have this uh, skeletal mesh. It's just a cube. I imported as a skeletal mesh. And I have created an animation for that. And through that animation, I have triggered this trail. So this is the trail particle and yeah this is the color of the trail it's white and so that's how I enable the trail and if you don't remember how did I do that you can refer to my previous video this is that video I showed you how to add a sword trail so same thing is applied here and yeah now let's get back to the project and here okay so I'll first create a new particle effect so this is the white particle effect white trail particle and I'll duplicate that I'll name it P trail red and this is the only thing that I have to change under distribution points and so instead of white I'll put this color red now I can close them and also this is cube anim that's the animation I play in order to trigger the trail particle so I'll duplicate the same animation and name it cube anim red so I'll open it and here for this trail I'll assign this p trail red right now under my melee weapon I already have created this um, enable weapon trail so this one toggle weapon trail method uh, this is implemented via this BPI weapon blueprint interface and so here I'll add another input to this interface function I'll name it trail type and it should be an integer well I defined it in a wrong function right this one trail type okay compile and compile again right and now I have this trail type integer input integer parameter so using that 
I'll do a select and with that select I'll put it here so for the first animation I'll use cube anim the normal one and for the second cube anim red so yeah since I have used uh, an integer here I can add any number of trail colors so types I want so now let's see where have I called this function it should be under my character well, when he attacks so yeah this is the base character and let's search toggle trail yeah right here and not that wait toggle weapon trail right yes toggle weapon trail yeah right here and for the trail type I need to give this uh, variable pass this variable so I can determine the trail type uh, using that unblockable variable which I have defined let me check um, okay let's uh, let me search it quickly under check hit I get this can block so where do I use this check hit let's check not here okay so where do we where do I use this one it should be under fight and attack yeah right here and Where do I toggle weapon trail? Right here. And no, where do I use this function? Check head. Okay. Right. Now I have to define another parameter here like this trail type simple and again so I can give this trail type a select and with it with this can block if it is true trail type should be should be zero if it is false well that means it cannot be blocked right so then the trail type should be one simple let's uh, check if that works so first I'll do a normal attack like this and I get the normal weight okay again let's try again yeah we get this uh, normal attack with this blur white trail but uh, when I do the unblockable attack there is a trail but it's not quite visible so let's open that red trail again yeah I have it here and I think the problem is this color over life and the alpha value right 
so this is the alpha value let's try increasing that maybe like this also let's change this in value and out value as well and check again right normal attack same as white before and charged attack right I got the red trail okay so let's see if this enemy character also have the same thing well it should be because that's the same subclass same sub same parent class they are using ch human okay now he's not doing a unblockable attack right when i need him to do that let's give him a second still no okay right right i got the red trail okay so i guess uh, that wraps up the session episode for today i hope you learned something and thank you for watching and i haven't thought about what to do tomorrow let's see i'll continue to improve the combat system and some other systems as well all right so if you would like to support my work you can go to patreon.com till the frame series and you can get the membership of my patreon club and depending on the membership tier you will have different privileges like access to project files and also you can ask questions and you will see you will have access to post time post in there okay so see you in the next episode. Goodbye.